You understand, brothers and sisters, that means the blood of Jesus Christ bought us. Bought us. That means we're not our own. What does that mean? That means it's no longer a will of man or the will of the flesh. Now it's the will of God because we've been born again, just like Jesus. He was not born of the flesh and blood, but he was born for the will of God. Therefore, he given us the rights to become sons and daughters. Through him, we've been adopted into the family of God to make a, to be a holy a holy priesthood, kings and queens to our God to give up spiritual sacrifices unto the Lord. You understand? And we must believe that he can do it. We must cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and believe that the Lord can do it. If he says do it in the Bible, don't you think he can do it? He said, I can do it. If he called you, he can do it. Don't be deceived, brothers and sisters. Let's make our call in an election. Sure. Now, Brothers and sisters, a lot of people, this is what I'm going to show you this morning. Uh, praise the Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for the price you paid. Thank you for the bowels of mercy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise and honor, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, forevermore. Dominion and power to you, Jesus. Thank you for the power of your love today, your mercy. Lord, we just wait upon you, and we'll see the goodness of the Lord in land.